Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming, and welcome to another episode of My Waifu or Husband Though is Better Than Yours. Each episode, we will be putting two heroes into the spotlight and see who reigns supreme over the other. First, they will be judged by all of their attributes, which includes their stats, weapons, skills, etc. Then, we will put them into a battle simulator to see who's the better one when head on. Not only that, we will be also giving them their best possible skill build and put them into the ultimate mass battle showdown to see who will be crowned the winner of My Wife or Husband Though is better than yours. Let's not wait any longer and introduce our contestants. Standing on the left corner, the Yilishan Tactician, the son of Validar, processed by the foul dragon Grima, Robin! And standing on the right corner, the tactical advisor of the shepherds, her body and soul ruled by Grima, the foul vessel, Robin! I know they are not the same color, and their move type is different too. But what the heck, both of them have the same name and come from the same game. Anyway, instead of calling them Robin, I'm gonna call them Grima for this video. And here we go, Fallen vs Fallen, Armored vs Flyer, a rare matchup between two different classes. Who is the better Fallen Grima? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Round 1, Stats and Skills Let's start with their base stats total. Male Grima has a BST of 174 and female Grima's BST is 162. I have a bad feeling about this. Male Grima takes the first point. What about their rating after weapon and skills? Male Grima's total rating is 190 and female Grima is 178. Another point to male Grima, 2-0. Next is their hit points. Male Grima has 48 HP, and female Grima has 40. Male Grima scores again. Let's look at their base attack now. Male Grima's base attack is 40, and female Grima is 32. <laughs> This doesn't look good at all. What about their speed? Who is the faster unit among the two? Male Grima has a speed of 24, and female Grima has 35. Finally, one point to female Grima. Now, let's look at the defense. Male Grima has 35 points in defense, and female Grima has 30. Another point goes to male Grima. Last, their resistance to magic attack. Male Grima has a resistance of 27, and female Grima has 25. Male Grima further extends his lead. After looking at their stats, Male Grima is leading with 5 points. At this point, we already know who's gonna win. But let's continue looking at their weapon and skills, shall we? First, their weapon. Male Grima uses Expiration, a unique breath weapon with a might of 16 and enables him to counter-attack disregarding distance of foe. And if enemy's range is 2, damage dealt will be calculated using the lower of foe's defense or resistance. As for female Grima, she uses the same weapon as her male counterpart. Hence, it's a draw. Next, they are special. Mil Grima has Ignis that boosts damage dealt by 80% of his defense with a cooldown of 4. How about female Grima? She uses Bonfire that boosts her damage dealt by 50% of her defense with a lower cooldown cost of 3. Who's special is better? According to Game 8, Bonfire is rated higher than Ignis. But both special would be able to cast out at the same number of turn counts thanks to Mil Grima's B skill. However, it also depends on their speed, skills, and opponent. Therefore, it's a draw in this scenario. Next, let's look at their passives. We won't be comparing their passive in A since Mil Grima doesn't have it. However, we will still introduce it nevertheless. Female Grima has a new passive called Dragon Skin. It has the ability to neutralize effectiveness against Flyer, 
and grants her a plus 4 defense and resistance during combat if foes initiate. Now, let's compare their passive in B. Mil Grima has Vengeful Fighter that guarantee him a follow-up attack when defending if his HP is 50% or more. It also grants him a special cooldown charge plus 1 per attack. As for female Grima, she has Cancer Affinity. Any weapon triangle affinity granted by unit skill is negated. If affinity disadvantage exists, weapon triangle affinity granted by foe skill is reversed. Which is better? Obviously, Vengeful Fighter. One more point to Mil Grima. Last, let's compare their passive in C. Mil Grima has Ward Dragon that grants Dragon allies within two spaces a defense and resistance plus four during combat. On the other hand, female Grima has resistance smoke. After combat, it inflicts a minus seven resistance on foes within two spaces of target through their next action. So, who will take the last point? By referring to game eight, Ward Dragon is rated higher than smoke resistance. Hence, the last point goes to Milf Grima. And that's the end to round 1. With a score of 8 to 1, the winner of first round is... Mil Grima! Whoa, female Grima got owned by a male counterpart. Will it be the same for the next two segments? Let's find out in round 2, Head on Fight. For this segment, I'm going to use the FEH Damage Calculator by Andrew Crandu. First, we are just going to let them browse with their default skills and IV with no buff. Let's have a look at the result. Male Grima managed to one round KO female Grima only during defending, but female Grima couldn't KO him during both phases. It's a win to male Grima in the default fight. How about we give them some skill inheritance? For your information, the skill that will be shown might not be the best build for them, but it's optimized for higher kill counts. For Mil Grima, Exploration, Steady Breath, Bow Fighter, Ward Dragons, Bonfire, and a Quick Repose Seal. For Female Grima, Exploration, Dragon Skin, Guard, Resistance Smoke, Moon Bow, and a Speed Seal. And the result? It's a double KO. Both get to take down their opponent during initiation. Of course, you could argue that if Mil Grima has warding breath or some additional buff to his resistance, he could have survived the attack. But female Grima could do the same too by increasing her attack by seals, IV, passive in A. Hence, it's a draw for the skill inheritance fight. However, since Mil Grima already has a point during the default fight, the winner of the head to head fight goes to. The Foul Incarnation! Guess those thighs. Whose thighs are these? Before we proceed to the final segment, let's look back at the results so far. Mil Grima has won the first two rounds, leaving nothing to his female counterpart. Could female Grima win the last round to at least avoid the embarrassment of losing it all? Let's find out in round 3, Mass Battle. For this segment, we will be using the same damage calculator as round 2 to calculate how effective are they against all the other heroes. Instead of looking at only their kills, we are going to consider their draws and losses too. And the result will be in the form of percentage. Here's the formula. First, we will calculate the result with their default build. Mil Grima draws 2, loses 75, and wins 161. What about female Grima? She draws 6, loses 38, and wins 194. As mentioned earlier, let's convert it to percentage. And female Grima has the higher rate of 82.8% compared to Mil Grima with 68.1. Next, let's look at the result when defending. Mil Grima draws 2, loses 42, and wins 194. On the other hand, female Grima draws 15, loses 23, and wins 200. After conversion, 
female Grima is still leading with 87.2%, which is 5.3% higher than male Grima. Hence, the default fight goes to female Grima. Wow, just a reminder, the result shown earlier was their default build, and they already have such a high kill rate. It's kind of scary to think what will their kill score be with skill inheritance. Now, let's look at the result after inheriting skills. Mil Grima draws 0, loses 14, and wins 224. As for female Grima, she draws 1, loses 20, and wins 217. Let's change it to percentage. And male Grima has the better kill rate of 94.1% compared to female Grima with 91.4. What if enemy attack first? Would the result be the same? This time, male Grima draws 0, loses 34, and wins 204. How about female Grima? She draws 1, loses 10, and wins 227. After conversion, female Grima winning rate is nearly 10% higher than male Grima. Let's average out both faces. And female Grima wins the skill inheritance fight. With that, the victor of the last round goes to... Female Grima! However, the result of this episode has long been decided. Ladies and gentlemen, by winning the first two rounds, the winner of this episode, my wife or husband though, is better than yours, is none other than... Mil Grima! What a fight, especially in the final round. And what surprises me the most is their kill rates. Even before inheriting skills, it's already very impressive. Better than a lot of heroes we combat previously. Even though Mil Grima is the final victor with a much higher overall stats and skills, but his female counterpart performed better against all the other heroes in a battle simulator. And in terms of movement, Mil Grima is an armored unit where he could only move one step at a time, unless you give him armor boots or armor march, compared to female Grima that could move through any terrains. Not to forget, she's a legendary hero which offers her teammates blessing too. So, what's your thought on the result? Who do you think should have been the better waifu or husband though? Let's discuss! If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Aki Gaming for more interesting content like this. You could also leave a comment below to suggest who would you like to feature in a future episode. By the way, voted by you, here's the order for the upcoming 3 weeks. Thank you for watching! And I hope to see you in the next episode of My Wife or Husband Dog is Better Than Yours. Um, where have I seen this before?